I'd heard so many nice things about Prague over the years that I had to discover if they were true for myself. So when Chris and I were road tripping around Austria last Christmas, we decided it would be nice to end the trip at the capital of the Czech Republic. We jumped on the train in Vienna and in less than five hours, we were bang in the middle of Prague. It was cloudy and wet, but the narrow cobblestone streets and Baroque architecture really stood out to me and made me forget about the rain. The city was far more beautiful than I could have pictured in my mind's eye, especially under all the Christmas decorations and the flickering lights. There's history everywhere you look, from the colorful rows of the huge apartment blocks to the many towers scattered around once the gates to the old city. Everything comes together to make you feel like you're in a medieval fairy tale. Amongst all this history, however, there are some modern architectural jewels. The Dancing House by Milunic and Gary will amaze you and confuse you with its illusion of movement. the old city square, Tin Church looks just like one of Walt Disney's castles with its great towers and spires. sunrise, Charles Bridge is swarming with people from all around the world who've come to admire its splendor. The bridge connects the lesser town of Prague to the old town and under its 16 arches flows the river Vultava. sets, the light fades and the old street lamps light up, Prague shifts from a romantic fairy tale town to what could easily be the setting of a dark gothic thriller. But don't let that scare you, rather let it excite you and intrigue you, as it did me. Mm. 